वेलकम टू दिस पॉलिटी लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टेक कलीजियम सिस्टम दिस सिस्टम विच इज फॉलोड इन इंडिया एंड इन द कॉन्टेक्स फ्रॉम वेयर आई हैव पिक दिस टॉपिक रिसेंटली द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज ऑर्डर्ड द कलीजियम टू रिकमेंड द ट्रांसफर ऑफ जजेज ऑफ सेवरल हाई कोर्ट सो वॉट इज कलीजियम सिस्टम वॉट इज दिस रिलिवेंट न्यूज वी विल सी इन दिस कमिंग स्लाइड मूविंग अहेड I will request you to please go through this lecture till the end so that you will have a complete picture of the relevant information. Further I will request you to please like and subscribe this is a new channel so I need your support. So what exactly is collegium system? See if you are going to be appointed on a particular job some other section of the jobs will appoint you. okay like for the legislative you have to conduct elections then people will choose you and on that basis you will get the seat so in the case of judge the appointment of judge the removal of judge of the supreme court high court is done by the judges himself that is something called as a collegium system collegium system is a system under which appointment elevation of the judges judges to that lawyers to the judges the promotions of the lawyers to the supreme court and the transfer of judges high court and the apex court are decided by a forum of the chief justice of india that there will collection of there is one forum which will consider of chief justice of india and the four senior most judges of the supreme court these collegium this the chief headed by the chief justice of india and the four senior most of judges will be considered as a collegium and they will decide regarding the transfer appointment and the removal of the judges or even promotions of the advocates to the judges and all okay so point one thing that this collegium system is nowhere mentioned in the constitution so if legislate if our if our the legislative and the executive turns to the collide together and they try to amend that part the supreme court comes and strike it as it will go it will go against the basic of the constitution so it is like the judiciary is like acting as a stand that nobody can tamper it okay so there are many more steps have been taken by the government side also to amend that part that there must be a involvement of executive or some other members in the appointment and the removal of judges but every time the supreme court has rejected it as by telling that it will it is going against the basis of the the basic structure of the constitution and thus the all those steps that were taken by the executive has been removed one of such a steps was the njac so we will see all the things in the coming slide so the recommendation of the names of the lawyers or the judges are the sent by collegium to the central government and if the central government does not does the fast checking and investigate the names and resends the file to the collegium let us suppose a name has been suggested by the collegium to the central government central government checks it he checks all the everything files and all and he then resends back to the collegium to reconsider the name that you have chosen for the supreme court of judges or high court then collegium considers then con collegium system will consider the name suggest made by the central government and resends the file to the central government and if that file contains the same name that earlier central government has rejected it then central government has to approve it but one thing note it here there is no time period related to that in what time period the central government have to reply okay so it means that if collegium decided that this person should be the supreme court judge then he has to be abide by it then the supreme then central government has to be abide by it and in the most of the cases it has been seen that central government tries to sit that judge on the supreme court who will be the favor who will be in the favor of central government 
so central government also tries to manipulate such kind of positions so that's what it is said that the indian system indian judiciary system is completely surrounded by the collegium system where the judges appoint themselves okay so when was this collegium system adopted in india the second judge cases in 1993 introduced the collegium system holding that consultation that there was a term in the institution it was written that collegium system holding that consultation really means concurrence that it should be abided by the the collegium system only that the abide by the people abide by the courts abide by the judges of the uh, uh, of the judiciary abide by the chief justice of india that it will be the it will be the concurrence on the judiciary to appoint this collegium system so it added that it was not the chief justice of india's individual opinion but an institutional opinion formed in the consultation with the two senior most judges of the supreme court so it has said that first time like the in the second judges case it was appointed in the 1993 and it was said that it is not the chief justice of india's personal opinion because there will be another four senior most judges will be there who will involved in taking decision regarding it okay so appointment of supreme court judges the Con the constitution of india article 124 establishment and the constitution of supreme court says that in within the constitution of india note that in the constitution of india nowhere it is mentioned regarding the collegium system okay so the constitution of india's article 124 says that there shall be a supreme court of india consisting of a chief justice of india and until parliament by law prescribes a large number of not more than seven other judges so it has been increased to the seven other judges like at now four you can appoint up to the seven seven judge member to for this grouping regarding this taking decision like for this collegium okay so every judge of the supreme court shall be appointed by the president by warrant under his her hand and the seal after consultation with such of the judges of the supreme court and of the high court in the state as president may deem necessary for the purpose and shall hold office until he attain the age of 65 years and what do you think that the president will take decision on their own decision no the chief justice will be involved in taking such decision okay and in judicial appointment it is obligatory for the president to take into the account of the opinion of the chief justice of india so the presidents will be abided by the chief justice of india he has to take decision with the sense of chief justice of india and if chief justice denies then then presidents can't take the decision on its own so the F the decision that has to be taken by ultimately it is the chief justice of india only and it will be worded by it will be signed by the president of india in reality it is like that so the opinion of the chief justice of india is binding on the government see it is binding on the government and the opinion of the chief justice of india must be formed after due consultation with the collegium of at least four senior most judges of the supreme court but it can be extended up to the seven other judges okay so even if two judges give an adverse opinion then he should not send the recommendation to the government like if there if there is an two judges is not being agreed so it is not like that uh, tie breaker chief justice will act as a tie breaker it is not like that even if a uh, even if two judges are not agreeing with a particular decision then the recommendation will not go to the government okay and if that all those judges like the if there is a four senior most judges three agrees with the one decision and the chief justice of india agree with the one decision then this decision will go to the government of india and the government of india has to follow that decision okay so the collegium system ha has faced a lots of criticism from the government but also from the civil side like it has been criticized not only from the government but also from the civil society due to lack of its transparency and accountability it is true like judges are appointing themselves then where is transparency where is accountability chief justice of india is choosing who will be the judge which judge should be transferred to from that place to another he let that 
collegium that four that collegium is deciding so where is transparency on what basis they are thinking to transfer that particular person from that court to other court or on what basis that person is being appointed as a judge of supreme court nobody knows because if that collegium has taken their decision it has to be fulfilled by the government so this led to the this criticism led to the 99th constitutional amendment act 2014 national judicial commitment act enjac and ultimately when this act was not abiding by the collegium they declared it as a unconstitutional as going against the basic structure of the constitution see it has the power by the judiciary judiciary said like we don't want to involve other executive bodies in that in our taking decision it is also true like if the executive is involved in taking decisions of the judiciary then it is not good for democracy also but there must be another solution for it enjac directly declared it uh, supreme court directly declared enjac as unconstitutional so enjac to replace the enjac was there to replace the collegium system for the appointment of judges um, so second judges cases 1993 was the basis on which a five judge constitutional bed declared the national judicial appointment commission enjac and the constitutional that is 99th amendment act as an unconstitutional in the un in the october 2015 so they declared enjac as an unconstitutional so enjac 2 would recommend the names of appointment of supreme court judges and appointment and transfer of high court judges so these things were involved in that enjac but it is it has been declared as the unconstitutional so the composition of enjac was the chief justice of india will be there two senior most judges will be there right right now it was like that four senior most judges minimum and you can extend up to seven the law minister of india should be involved and the two eminent members that are chosen by the selection committee the selection committee will also be involved from the executive or the from the legislative body so these things have been declared by the supreme court as an unconstitutional okay so there was a chance that has been taken there was a step taken by the executive taken by the legislative together to remove the collegium system by introducing the enjac but enjac was declared as an unconstitutional and the 99th amendment was declared together with as unconstitutional okay so i hope you have liked this video please like and subscribe this is a new channel so i need your support your subscription is a form of payment for me if you want any on demand video lecture or if you want to give any feedback to me please feel free to ping on my twitter handle thank you